Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Brad over here at Chattanooga Fish and Fun. Here at Fish and Fun, we sell Ranger boats and Lance campers. I've got a beautiful day here to shoot a video, so we're gonna take full advantage of it and tour this 2023 Lance 2375 right behind me. Uh, I've got the most campers here on the lot that I've had in the past three years, full of truck campers, and then I've got four travel trailers on the lot all at once, all different models, so I've got plenty to you know come out and take a look at today we're focusing in on this 2023 lance 2375 this camper weighs 500 997 pounds uh dry you start adding water your belongings to it and everything you're going to be a little bit more than that uh the hitch weight on this is 810 pounds the way it sits so you know most of your half tons can uh, handle it you know a lot of people will go ahead and upgrade to the three quarter tons or more so uh you know what they say the safer the better right better be safe than sorry but uh we'll go ahead and go over the pricing and everything on this before we make our way inside of it the way that this one's equipped i've got to take that csa off of here under the optional equipment because we we are not in canada so i really don't know why that's on there but uh, the base pricing starts out at $86,405 on this model for 23. With the factory equipment and destination charges, that brings you to a total MSRP of $95,496. Like I said, that's the manufacturer suggested retail pricing. I'll need you to call in and get the BSRP pricing. It's a much better deal. It's Brad's suggested retail pricing. And uh, my phone number is 423-892-6272. So if you watch this video and this intrigues you or you're interested in another camper, just give me a call. I'll get you a much better deal on one of these campers. I know that some of you are only here to see the inside of the camper, so that's where we'll start so you don't have to you know, skip through the entire video to see the inside. So when you're walking in, you'll notice that you have the Glow Step Revolution uh, step ladder there made by torque lift then you also have step ups to your second door on the outside over there so in the rear the way that this camper is laid out you can get this model with the two captain's chairs and it'll have like a table in the middle or you can get it upgraded to the like l-shaped lounger so that one's you know that's what this one has right here this is the bronzite interior color you can get this in bronzite, grayson, or lapis. Bronzite's going to be your gray color. Lapis is going to be like kind of a midnight blue color. And then grayson is gray. So I'll let you have a wider look at that. It also has a kick out here on the far end. This is not a recliner by any means. It's actually kind of an awkward way to sit. But uh, if you wanted to prop your feet up, you have it there. To bring it in, you push in and step down this camper has a lot of windows in it and what i love about these these are the acrylic double pane windows you have these little handles here kick them out push it out and use your finger there to turn the knob lock it into place see these are a lot more usable than the old style glass windows some people love them some people hate them i tend to love them i've got them on my enduro camper they are far more usable, let a lot more, you know, natural light and airflow through. They're just all around more usable. Some people don't like them because they scratch a little bit easier, but I'd rather have a scratch window than a busted window. Up above, you have these, I want to say they're like Euro style cabinets. And then if this camper had batteries in it, you'd see lights lit up in here. They work off these little push button switches. But you have a massive amount of storage right above your rear lounger here. Get you a further back view. Some nice reading lamps. And then like I said, all these windows kick out. You've got your day and night shades. That's gonna be the night shades. And you have your day shades. That'll, you know, allow to help keep all the bugs out. Let's see where's that, there it is. Just like that super easy super simple you can do everything one-handed got a little cubby hole here on the side you can keep your books your kindle stuff like that your dinette over here this also makes into a bed uh, this is like i said in bronzite interior 
So on your lapis models, which would be your blue, you'd have gray, gray, blue, blue. And then Grayson is just gonna be all gray. You have pull out doors below both benches. Now these right here, they're not really that tricky at all. You press that button in and it's locked for towing. And then you press it and push it out. And then that's how you unlock it. Same thing over here. Great amount of storage. Uh, let's see. I'll go ahead and make this into a bed for you. That way you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, as you can see here, the dinette does make into a bed. I have it made into one right now, obviously. You have this little latch below, right there, this handle. That's what you use to unlock the table. And then you press the table down, get the cushions out of the way, take your backing cushions, throw them in the middle, and that's gonna be your filler to make this into a bed. It is 42 by 78 inches. I had one of these uh, style beds in my 975 truck camper that I had. My brother used it to sleep on, and he said it was a pretty comfortable place to sleep. It's got thick cushions, they're super soft, so it really makes a comfortable place to sleep. When you're done, just bring the table back up, lock it back into place, put the cushions back where they go, and you're done. So over here, you're gonna see that you have this 32 inch smart TV comes with all your preloaded down or preloaded apps like Netflix, YouTube, uh, you can download apps like Hulu and uh, Roku and stuff or you know whatever the other apps are that you can put on a TV. Uh, you've got your JBL stereo right below it. You've got dual speakers coming off the sides. You've got your little uh, countertop space down here with a 110 outlet and looks like HDMI outlets and a cable outlet. Then you've got your USBs and DC outlets there on the side. Got you a little subwoofer down at the bottom and quite a bit of storage for your DVDs or whatever else you wanna throw in there. There's my little notepad here. All right, so I've already gave away the secret hiding space over there, but you know, whatever. All right, so this right here is gonna be your kitchen. You do have a little bit of space for prep for cooking. You can have these sink covers in to give you a little bit more countertop space. Push that out of the way to give you even more room. Or you take these countertops off or sink covers and you've got your sink. Put those back in. Slippery. Then hidden over here is going to be your trash can. Easy and convenient to get to. I like where they put this because you can access it from over here while you're prepping your food. You can discard your items, clippings and stuff, or you can access it over here by the uh, entry door. So that was well thought out. You got your portable JBL speaker that this camper comes with. A little mount for it. And then some storage above the sink. You can put your pots and pans up there, red solo cup, silverware, whatever you want to. Below here, you're going to notice even more storage doors. All three of these are the same. Little pull-out drawers, soft close. Below, you're going to have access to even more storage. Then also over next to the sink in the kitchen area, you're gonna have your microwave. Whenever you're not using it, it's tucked nice and neat inside the uh, European style cabinets. Got your uh, overhead here, three burner cooktop. They make this grill easy to remove for easy cleaning. And then you have your oven right below. I believe this is even the one with the self ignite. It is. You don't have to carry a lighter with you and stick it down in there anymore. If you notice this camper, it has a ducted AC throughout the whole thing. That's another really cool thing about this uh, camper is it's got the new Truma Aventa air unit. It's a 13.5 BTU AC. It also has a built-in dehumidifier in it, which I thought was really neat. Then you have a little sensor here where you can use it with a remote. 
So this camper is also equipped with uh, the Truma Aqua Go. It's an on-demand tankless water heater and the Truma Vario heat furnace. So what we're looking at now is the five cubic foot refrigerator. It is a three-way, so it runs on gas, AC, and DC. Pretty sizable fridge. Looks like I made a mistake on that fridge. It looks like it's a two-way, so it must be AC and uh, gas. Because I didn't see an option for DC, which they usually have like a little thing off to the side where you can use DC. And that I did not see on it anywhere, so it must be a two-way fridge. All right, so here's our little hallway that leads back to the bedroom. And again, you do have a second door over there to the right where you can just access the bedroom if you wanted to. You have this sliding door that's tucked away. So if you got your kids with you or something, or you have another family with you and you want some privacy, just slide that door closed. Nobody's going to be able to look at you. Then you just tuck it back out of the way, lock it in. You don't have to worry about it flying open while you're under tow. Got a mirror here on the door. I'm glad that they added those back to it. And then here is our dry bath. Pretty good size shower. Then we've got our sink over here in the bathroom. Got a little medicine cabinet behind it. We have some storage underneath the sink. That's always a good thing to have more storage. And I really like how they use or utilize the space inside the walls for even more storage. Plenty of room. Got our little toilet paper holster. And then this is a porcelain toilet. So like I said, good sized bathroom, plenty of room for a guy like myself to go in there. Uh, got a couple of cabinets over here to the right. Shelves. Tell you what, I don't think you could even pack enough stuff to put in this camper. It's got storage everywhere. Look at this. This is crazy. I just entered the bedroom. Got some nice countertop space there. Even more storage. I mean, it's crazy the amount that is inside of this camper. Like I said, this camper weighs a little bit less than 6,000 pounds the way it's loaded with the solar panels and whatnot. Oh, there we go. These open angled outwards, not towards you. I mean, that is crazy. Yeah, so this camper, you know, weighs a little bit less than 6,000 pounds. And by the time you actually fill all these storage compartments, you're gonna be way more than that. If you can even fill them all it's crazy all right so in the bedroom area we have our second tv right over there to the right that one is a 24 inch and like the one in the living room this one is on a swivel so if you don't like it the way it's fixed in right there you have this little latch here on the back somewhere give me one second to find it second mistake of the video this is a fixed tv in the bedroom area your living room tv is the only one that's on a swivel so you can position this one to where you want it the one in the bedroom you better just like where it's at because uh, it ain't going nowhere i bet you other people would edit that out of a video but i mean i'm i'm ready to admit my you know faults whenever i make one it doesn't happen often but uh, up here in the bed area you have two closets it's called the hers and hers she's going to take both of them sorry gentlemen two pull out drawers well one over there and one over here same size then you have one 10 outlets usb outlets and dc outlets on both sides so for my cpap users you don't have to run cables behind you over there behind your pillows and everything you got access on both sides that's very thoughtful of lance thank you lance and just like in the uh living space area you have all these little latches right here. Then you can push this window out and leave it kicked out. You just have to tighten the knobs on it. Same thing up there, same thing over here on the right. 
Although, be careful when you're opening this door, it looks like it hit this window if you had it kicked out. So that is uh, the inside of the 2023-2375. I will back up, give you another larger view of it. Let you see the whole camper again without me talking. Alright, so I'm back after about a two hour break. We had uh, quite a few camper showings to do today and uh, quite a few of you viewers showed up today. It's always nice meeting you guys and girls. Uh, but I believe we are done with the inside of the uh, camper tour on the 2375, so we will go over the outside now. I'll start up here at the front on the campground side. So in the front on this side and same place on the other side, is going to be where your battery compartment is at you've got these little slide out drawers make it easy to you know change out batteries and everything you can get these with the lithium batteries installed through the factory if you wanted to they use the let's see go power uh, lithium batteries i think they're 100 amp hour uh, if you buy a camper and it doesn't have the lithiums in it we install the deca deep cycle batteries Right here next to the battery compartment, you're gonna see your fully pull-out tray. This allows you to be able to still reach everything even if it scoots all the way back here. Then you just easily push it back in. You also have a little portable table that you can set up. All of your uh, switches for the electric stabilizers are right here in this compartment. Then you have a light switch for the interior compartment and a light switch for the nose of the camper that turns these LED lights on. Make sure I'm not leaving out anything underneath. I am. Look at this. All right, so this is where you drop your spare tire. Right here is where you can hook up an external grill. Personally, I like to carry one of them portable 22-inch Blackstone grills with me. That's a good place to hook into. On the front well we'll get to the front here in a minute here's our external hand warmer when it gets chilly outside you just stick your hands up here and it heats your hands up ask me how i know all right so we also have a mount for an external tv if you were to uh, want to mount one out here watch you know your favorite tv show or if there's a game on or something then this is where you're going to plug in got two USB outlets, DC outlet, and one tens if it's an AC power TV. Then you just easily lock this back into place. Uh, we've got a tandem axle trailer underneath this unit. It's wrapped with uh, Goodyear Endurance tires. And I believe they changed over to the leaf, leaf spring style axles. Yes, they did. One thing that I see here incredibly hard to get to is uh, your main dumps right there for your well not the main dumps but the water lines Lance come on you couldn't have thought of anywhere better to put that external mount for a radio they give you a little uh, JBL portable radio that you can mount over there the Truma Aqua Go tankless water heater on demand I believe I've got this figured out now from you know prepping a few units down is going to be gas up is AC I notice whenever I turn it down it starts igniting like it's using propane and when you go up with it it doesn't do that so put that back up oops there we go close this right here is where you're going to be able to fill your onboard water tank so this camper is set up with a 45 gallon fresh water tank so you can carry 45 gallons on the go and then set up with a 40 gallon gray water tank and also a 40 gallon black water tank okay i think that's it over here 
then you've got your side power awning that thing is massive look at that it does have the auto wind sensing on it so if it gets too windy outside it's going to roll itself back in and it has an awesome led light strip at the very end of the awning that really helps light it up at night time okay on the back here you've got your backup camera we'll get to the roof here in a minute you've got the uh, fat ladder that's rated for 250 pounds that's with a ph not an f squeeze that and that's going to be where you can store your sewage hose it actually says squeeze on it interesting you just shove her back in there little utility hitch on the back of it so you can mount your bike rack license plate and i believe that's it on the back here all right so now we've made it to the driver's side this is where all the magic happens this is where you get to hook up to your city water uh, your 30 amp plug-in your sewage hose all, all the goodies like that and the side slide here you're going to have two little storage compartments These also have little magnetic magnetic strips holding them up. Keep them out of your way. And they are insulated. Underneath, make sure, there it is. There's your fresh water tank drain. Comes out the very bottom. And then on this side, like I was saying earlier, plug into your 30 amp. Parking satellite connections. This is going to be your city water connection and then your black water flush. Now, uh, below here, I'm trying to get ahead of myself. This is where you hook your sewer pipe onto. Something yellow in there. It's like dirt or something. I hope, anyways. But, uh, anyways, this is going to be where you drain your black water tank and then your gray water tank. And then you just make one connection over here. There's not multiple to hook onto. This right here is the outdoor shower for everybody that likes to give their fellow campground stayers a show. Just kidding. Mostly uh, I use mine for rinsing my dog off, rinsing my feet off and stuff. You got this little lock box. Look at this, electric bike rentals. We've been doing that for a month now and haven't rented out a single bike. So if you want to come explore Chester Frost, I'll haul it down there for you so you can, you know, help me get this little electric bike business started over here let me find the right key for it there it is you got you a little i call it a wet box because they're you, you don't want to put anything in here that could get wet that you don't want to get wet there we go and then below over here you have your toy lock is what it's called you got the little lock on the side that pulls out it's a long cable that you can wrap through your kayaks or bikes or whatever you don't want to go missing All right, so on the opposite side of that uh, pass-through, well, not pass-through, but that large compartment over on the front next to that battery box, on the opposite side over here is going to be where your generator would go if you wanted to carry one on the go with you. It is vented, and you also have your battery disconnect switch inside here. Or you could just use it for more storage. And then over here is where you're going to find your second battery compartment. Below, this is where you would get all of your true weights, along with some other, you know, potent information. And like I said, this one comes in at 5,997 pounds dry. You add water to the tanks and everything, you're gonna be adding to that weight, along with all of your belongings. And uh, the estimated hitch weight on this one's around 810 pounds. So uh, over here on the front, you're going to have three 20 pound propane tanks uh, you've got two hooked up at all times then you have another one here on the side that is just kind of hanging out in case you run out we've got our lipper smart jack on the front it's easy you just down up of course if i had batteries connected to this i could show you that but you know whatever and then also over here these are a two and five sixteenths ball so that would be some potent information to know for you know what size ball you'd need to haul this thing but that's uh pretty much it on this one now let's go up to the roof here we are on the roof of this monster these are fully walk-on roofs 
there's zero soft spots on these uh, the roof is like a one piece pvc material roof it's supposed to be puncture resistant we've got our one 190 watt solar panel up here some skylights and then uh, uh two vents one for the bathroom and or one outside of the bathroom and then one for the rear of the camper and then in and then in the uh, bed area here you're going to have your max air fan with the built-in rain sensor so these are automatic and you have a, a remote that comes with this for it and then they already have these mounts where you can easily add on one of them max air fan two vent covers you would need the second one because that's the one that is rated for power vents and there is our truma vent air unit slide out cover is an option on this and it's a good option to have so you don't have to get up here after every trip and sweep off the uh, top of the slide out makes it a lot easier on the maintenance okay everybody that's it on the 2023 2375 thank you for watching if you like the video go ahead and hit the hit the thumbs up button lets youtube know that it might be enjoyable to watch might know what i'm talking about something along those lines uh, if you have any questions, you can uh, call me at 423-892-6272, or you can comment below. Either works. My email is going to be in the description below. I promise you, if you just take five minutes out of your you know, busy day to give me a call, I can get a week's worth of emails done in that five minutes. So, uh, yeah, if you're interested in a you know, pull behind by Lance or maybe a truck camper or a boat just give me a shout i'm uh, here to help and let's see what else on this one like i said this camper right here should be able to be towed by a half ton um it comes in weighing around 500 and i mean 5997 pounds dry and then uh, about 810 pounds on the on the tongue weight there so uh, your half ton should be able to uh handle it the three quarter tons are more than enough to handle it so you just you know take your picks there what you want like i said it's better to be safe than sorry and then on the uh, base pricing they start out at eighty six thousand four hundred and five dollars with the factory options and destination charges that brings your total msrp to ninety five thousand four hundred and ninety six dollars and seventy five cents if you're interested in this model call me for the bsrp pricing until next time y'all take care stay safe and i'll see you on the next one